How do I activate my digital content on my CEC zone if I teach a combined grade elementary class? Hi! Is your first year off to a good start? I hope the kids haven't been too rambunctious. No, not at all. They've been angels so far. But I am wondering about activating my digital content in my CEC zone. I was told it's really easy, but since I haven't done it before, I'm a little stressed about it. I can help you with that. Since you're teaching a combined grades class this year, you'll have to learn how to go from one group to another. But you'll see, it's really not that hard. Everyone thinks that all younger people are really good with technology, but that's not true. It's normal to be a little unsure. Nobody wants to make a mistake early in their career. We've all been there. So, log in to your My CEC Zone account and go to your bookshelf. Okay, I'm there. Click the plus symbol at the top right of the screen. First, if you purchased an access that didn't include the teacher's guide, you have to make sure you have this teacher's guide in your bookshelf already. Now, enter the activation code for your CEC FSL content. Well, that's the eight-letter code CEC emailed to the school, right? That's the one. Then, click Submit. Got it. Since you have a class with grades 5 and 6, make sure you do the process in the right order. That's why the activation stage ends with you selecting the A Multi-Level Class button. Okay, that's a good point. Um, where are we now? This is an overview of all the digital content in your CEC series that will be added to your bookshelf. Wow, it all looks awesome. How do I add it? First, click Continue. That brings you to the terms and conditions. Read them, then check the Accept box and click Continue. I feel like I'm getting into my comfort zone. Good, because now you're going to create your first group. I'm ready. First, type in the name you want to give your fifth grade class. I'm feeling confident, so I'll call it the Grade 5 Angels. I admire your optimism. Write the password that everyone in that group will use. It has to have at least eight characters and one number. V12 Angels. I should remember that. Nice choice. Now, since you seem to have 12 students in grade 5, select 12 and click Create. That's it? Yep. And you can see the confirmation that your group has been created, the list of students is there, and the content was added to their bookshelf. Now click Go to My Group. On the left, you can change the group name or the shared password, and you can see the content that's in the student's bookshelf. And what can I do in View List of Students? You can click Create a Student Account to add a student, use the little pen icon on the same line as a student to edit their first name, last name, or username, and you can click Remove to... To remove a student. Well, aren't you quick? Oh, sorry, I'll raise my hand next time. Ha ha ha. Since I'm teaching two different grades, the students won't have the same CEC books in their bookshelf, right? Exactly. Before you create your sixth grade group, go back to your bookshelf and click on the plus symbol at the top right. Next, enter the activation code for your CEC FSL content for this class. Click Create a New Group and then Confirm. This next bit is where you see how well the platform is designed. If you want to add a new CEC series to your 5th or 6th grade group, go to the bookshelf and click the plus at the top right. Then enter the activation code for the CEC FSL content for grade 5, choose the group you want to add the content to, and click Continue. It really is... Practical, easy, cool... Okay, okay, I should have raised my hand. I really do appreciate you lending me a hand. Thanks. That's just what we do between colleagues. <laughs>